Hi everybody, how you doing? My name is Tony, nice to see you. The um, reason I'm posting this video is to show you some of the work that I've been doing in the lab. Um, some airbrushing stuff, some lures that I've been trying out and I've tried a couple of failures, a couple uh, learning curves. Definitely a learning curve, but I wanted to show you what I'm kind of doing right now. I've come across a good process with uh, a couple of here a couple of things to uh, help glitter adhere to the lures a little bit better other than your standard lures to where you have the glitter that kind of just patterns along like this um, sometimes I feel maybe the glitter helps out a little bit more so what I'm going to show you is some of the lures that I've been doing in the shop I'm going to grab this camera and kind of take you across here if you look I've come up with a way to get the sections of glitter to adhere to the lures really good. Give it something just a little bit different that those fish might and do like. Some patterns and stuff, some lures that I've been working on in the shop. <clears throat> definitely, definitely look really good, really good. From a it's been a progression, a learning curve like I said. The first couple lures that I did do, there's some here without glitter. I got spray pattern, I did a little silver on the top of that also. And then uh, this one right here, I went out fishing the other day in Lake Erie and I couldn't get the walleye off of that thing. It was amazing. If you see a lot of the lures there that I've been doing. I did a couple of uh, rip sticks here. I don't know if you can see that or not. That almost looks like your standard blue and chrome. I mixed the blue up. A uh, little bit of bare naked purple right there. A little bit of pink on the ends. Just to give it something, like I said, to throw a little, something off a little bit different. There's a little purple one that I just did not too long ago looks blue but it's definitely purple and I first started the the glitter process and this is what happened this was this one kind of got uh, what happened with this was there's a timing on some some of the clear coat that I use and I uh, I wasn't paying attention to the time on the clear coat and it got real chunky looking but I haven't tried it ouch I haven't tried it uh, out on the lake yet so we'll see uh, hey if it works you never know it's definitely a good color I got another color here you see where the clear coat kind of got a little bit thick on it and I had a heck of a time with it but those were I said learning curves learning processes on those those were the first two that I did and then after that I started going to town once again doing all these bad boys right here this is one of my favorite ones right here. <coughs> that pretty much, uh, that one's been a good one there. This one here. With the pink belly. That's a deep diving husky jerk at number 12. All these are husky jerk 12s on this side here. Let me hold this one up. There we go. And again, those are Husky Jerk 12s. These are Reef Runners. And I'm going to be painting some more. These are Rip Sticks. Uh, over the winter time, I'm going to try to paint a few more. Which I will paint a few more. I definitely have a good abundance of stock right there. I've got some other stuff up here that I'm going to be playing with. I haven't tried these yet. I haven't really done anything. Those are all stock there, so... I might see what I can pop on those just to see what we can do and I'll keep you guys posted on everything that I've been doing here in the lab in the shop this was almost this one here reminds me of the uh, let's see what I got over here it kind of reminds me of this one it's like the reverse of of pink squirrel which was uh, a reef runner 
but I like this one because it has it's got a little more color in it less white but it does the dots if you could see them the dots are actually purple so it's almost like a almost like a pink squirrel but not quite and all the colors I mix up myself individually some of these have different different styles different colors that you probably there we go that's a little bit different there I like this one too I didn't get to try this one when I went out they weren't quite dry yet this one was the one that the fish were just tearing up I mean absolutely still got some walleye bites in it some scarring on it but I, that can all be fixed they tore the paint off of the bottom there I gotta paint me some more of them like that well if you like what you see let me know hit me up I'll put this uh, this is gonna be on YouTube on my walleye fever channel all you gotta do is go to YouTube type in walleye fever and uh, there we go so you go to YouTube um, type in walleye fever a lot of my stuff will pop up you'll see it on Facebook if you follow me on Facebook other than that there you go and uh, I'm definitely going to do another and some more of these glitter series lures I, I really really like the different colors and the different patterns of the glitter you'll see a lot more dots a lot more different stuff more to come as I get time to work on them so once again thank you very much you guys have a good afternoon or a good evening and I will be seeing you soon talk to you later bye